this point, you've probably figured out that you can't really escape man-made EMFs. They do create incoherent frequencies in your body that cause stress and they cause disease. No, they don't. No, they really don't. There are hundreds of studies supporting what I just said. Three studies. Hundreds of studies. There are three. Hundreds. Three. Quantum upgrade is a service that can neutralize EMFs. What exactly does quantum upgrade do? It sends quantum energy hundreds of miles away to you if you pay for a subscription. That's it. That's really it. They try to explain it a little bit differently, but they can't do a good job, that's what you're paying for. It improves red and white blood cell count and it boosts ATP by up to 29% in double-blinded studies. You can't make that stuff up. Yes, you can. You can't make that stuff up. Oh yes, Dave Asprey, you can make stuff up. This is a remote service that's been tested in those double-blind studies and not by the company, but by independent institutes. In the comments to this video, the founder of Quantum Upgrade assured skeptics you could find the research on their website. So I took a look. There are not not hundreds of studies, there are three, and none of them are actually studies. The study that Dave flashes as proof of quantum upgrades efficacy is actually a report written by a biochemist looking at the cells of three people. Three is not even a pilot study. The other two studies that supposedly show efficacy are actually reports written by the BESA Institute. It is not an independent research institute, but a for-profit company that began as a software company. The report of the other study looked at four participants. The blind in that study was a car. No, I'm serious. It was a luxury electric vehicle. Three people, the blind, one car. Do I not? Serious people. And if that's not bad enough, it gets really shitty very quickly. I think sometimes these people forget that when they post their research on their website, we actually have an ability to see what they're posting. And I think that's a really important practice before you fall for any of this shit.